After serving nine years at Tesla, 43-year-old Xiao Tong Zhu, also known as Tom Zhu, has officially joined the company's global management team. On April 6, a document submitted to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission by Tesla disclosed that Xiao Tong Xu will be the senior vice president of Tesla's automotive business starting from April 2023. This is the first time Xiao Tong Xu's name has appeared on the list of Tesla's senior management team, which also includes CEO Elon Musk, CFO Zachary Kirkhorn, and senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering, Andrew Buglino. Given Tesla's influence in the U.S. technology and automotive industry, Xiao Tong Xu has become one of the legendary Chinese figures in Silicon Valley, with some investors calling him Tesla's Tim Cook. What sets Xiao Tong Xu apart, and why do people call him the next Tim Cook? Can Xiao Tong Xu's steady rise within Tesla prove that the company is increasingly focusing on the Chinese market? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about. Let's get started. Xiao Tongzhu was born in Shenyang, Liaoning Province, and studied in New Zealand, where he obtained a bachelor's degree in information technology business from Auckland University of Technology in 2004. He joined a startup internet company in his sophomore year, which only lasted for a few months, but he never gave up on his entrepreneurial aspirations. In 2010, Xiao Tongzhu received an MBA degree from Duke University's Fuka School of Business. In 2014, as new energy vehicles became a trend, Xiao Tongshu joined Tesla in April of that year and was responsible for developing Tesla's supercharging network in China. Although Xiao Tongshu had no prior experience in the automotive industry, he demonstrated outstanding work capabilities. According to Tesla, during this period, Tesla built nearly 40 supercharging stations in China and over 600 destination charging stations in more than 60 cities across the country. Public information shows that Tesla was not doing well at that time, and several senior executives in Tesla China also resigned one after another. In April 2014, Tesla China's general manager Zheng Shenjing resigned, and eight months later, Wu Bixuan, who replaced Zheng, also left abruptly. Perhaps due to his exceptional abilities or just sheer luck, Xiao Tongshu rose to the challenge. In December 2014, Xiao Tongshu was appointed as Tesla's vice president and China president. The Shanghai Gigafactory was a turning point for Tesla and also for Xiao Tongshu. In January 2019, the Gigafactory site in Lingang, Shanghai, was still a mud field. Xiao Tongshu remembers that it rained continuously for more than 40 days that year. During a typhoon, the roof was flooded, and he jumped into the water to clear it. During the construction period of the Shanghai factory, he posted a picture on Twitter like Weibo with the caption, I really want to sleep, but work is too interesting. The main factory building was completed within eight months, and passed the full acceptance inspection in September. Production qualification was obtained in October, and the Model 3 production began. On December 30 of the same year, the domestic Model 3 was officially delivered to employee car owners at the Shanghai factory. In contrast, the Berlin Gigafactory, also located outside the United States, took two and a half years from construction to production. Xiao Tongzhu said, starting construction, completing construction, beginning production, and delivering all in the same year. I believe this is an industry record. Musk also praised the Shanghai Gigafactory as the fastest building construction I have ever seen at the end of 2019's shareholder meeting. In January 2020, Musk personally attended the Model 3 delivery ceremony in Shanghai. In the photo of all the factory employees, Xiao Tongshu stood beside Musk. After the Shanghai factory was put into production, its production capacity rapidly increased, becoming Tesla's most efficient factory globally. In 2020, Tesla separated the greater China market from the Asia-Pacific market and established a specialized department to further develop the Chinese market with Xiao Tongshu as the head of the Greater China region. So, how hard does Xiao Tongshu work? According to an employee who reported to Xiao Tongshu, he almost instantly responds to emails sent at 3 a.m. Xiao Tongshu starts working at 6 a.m., and he also needs to coordinate with North America at night. 
Managing the Shanghai Gigafactory with nearly 10,000 employees, there were only four full-time employees in the administrative department in 2021, his efficiency is amazing. An example of his dedication is that his office at the Shanghai Gigafactory is in a room next to the production line, with a window that allows him to see the production line at any time. He can even put on a safety helmet and enter the workshop directly if needed. Xiao Tongshu has a lot in common with Musk in terms of working hard. In March 2022, to solve the problem of production resumption and capacity recovery, Xiao Tongshu slept in the Shanghai Gigafactory for two months. To deliver Tesla cars, Musk once slept on the floor at the Fremont Gigafactory. After acquiring Twitter, he often slept in the Twitter headquarters. On the one hand, as the Chinese market becomes increasingly important, Xiao Tongshu's hard work and unique qualities have helped him to advance in his career. With his promotion, Xiao Tongshu has focused more attention on the global market. In December 2022, due to production capacity issues at the Texas Gigafactory in the United States, Musk personally named Xiao Tongshu to go to the United States to assist in supervising its capacity expansion. Later, when Tesla celebrated the milestone of producing 3,000 Model Y per week at the Texas Gigafactory, Xiao Tongshu appeared in the factory photo released by Tesla. Why is Xiao Tongshu the next Tim Cook? On January 3, 2023, Xiao Tongshu was promoted to the global management position at Tesla, responsible for the US factory and sales in North America and Europe. Meanwhile, Xiao Tongshu still holds the top management position in Tesla China, as well as being responsible for sales in other Asian regions, making him the second in command of Tesla's automotive business. As he takes on more responsibilities, Xiao Tongshu's identity becomes more and more familiar to people. At Tesla's Investor Day on March 2, Xiao Tongshu appeared in a Tesla Black Super Factory t-shirt, introducing himself as responsible for overseeing most of the company's operations, including global production, sales, and service, and representing all of the company's super battery factories. In the eyes of the outside world, this makes him almost the second only after Musk of Tesla after Elon Musk. After the Tesla Investor Day ended, Xiao Tongshu had conversations with several individual Tesla investors who expressed confidence in him and said he would become our Tim Cook. In August 2011, Steve Jobs appointed then COO Tim Cook as CEO. Prior to that, Cook was not well known, but he proved to be the one who developed Apple into the world's most valuable company. Coincidentally, Cook and Xiao Tongshu are both alumni of Fukar School of Business. Trey Wheeler, Tesla's former production chief, highly praised Xiao Tongzhu. His knowledge and achievements are so valuable to Tesla, I cannot emphasize it enough. He truly understands manufacturing, knows how to handle difficult situations, and always strives for the best. He is a true leader. Furthermore, Xiao Tongzhu has strong production management skills and the ability to establish a low-cost supply chain system. Tesla China's strong profitability reflects his ability, as well as Tesla's need to further enhance in this area. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.